Hey everyone! Ooh. Um, happy last day of 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. I I don't know what to say about this year that hasn't been said already. Yeah. I mostly have bad things to say about this year. Not entirely, but I'd say 98% bad. So Agreed. Um, I'm not convinced that the next year is going to be any better, I have to say, right up front. But we can hope, and um, I think it will be really good for us to leave 2020 behind. Yes, let's kick it out. Let's kick it out with some tunes tonight and other exciting and silly things, as we usually do on the session. And I see I, we have we have quite a few people, actually. A lively chat already. Hello, for, everybody. Yes, yes. Um, especially for, for lately, we've had... A, few less people at the start and I see we have a lot of people so hello thanks for dropping by yes um, if you're new to the session um, this one will be slightly different than normal just because it's kind of a special event session but yep. um, if you want any extra information about this you can go down into the description of the video and there's lots of things there um, and you all know my spiel by the by this time but the, the two important things are if you if you like the session and you want to come back, it uh, might be a good idea to get onto the mailing list because yes. we send out information about the upcoming leaders and also tune sets to practice if you're a musician, which I think most of you are. Um, we send out the tune names uh, for practicing. So get on the mailing list for the Mario session down there and or Tune Supply. Both links are down there. And then secondly, as you know, this whole thing is run on contributions. And this is the 54th session, believe it or not. Yes. Um, and uh, the the entire thing has been funded by your contributions. And later, I'm going to tell you some stats, actually, because we we did we uh, did some accounting and some stats for our uh, end of year newsletter. And I'll let you guys know what you all did to support the whole community, which is pretty cool. But um, in the meantime, we are still paying all of our leaders uh, for their time. And tonight, we have a lot of leaders. <laughs> How many is it? 10? We have 11, 11. 11 guests on the show tonight. Yes, I'd say they're all guests. We, we don't have yeah. nobody is the, the special leader for today. Um, 11 guests. And so we have a lot of people to pay tonight, which we're excited to do for our last session here. Um, we started with like five and then some more people were like, oh, can I join? Yes. Yeah. Can I join? Yes. When people ask to join, I always say yes. So yeah, we um, don't want to turn away musicians. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Gig. Nope. Nope. So um, it's going to be an exciting session and also possibly a little bit longer than we've been going. We've been Almost certainly. Yeah, yeah, we've been sticking to an hour and a half for the since since Chris and I have been back from Alaska. Tonight might go a little bit longer, but um, it's it's going to be great. It's that means more superstars. tunes. More tunes for everyone. There's so. a lot of tunes yeah. tonight. Yeah, so we will get going here. Um, the theme tonight is hope, um, which I do have some of, though I have been a little negative lately. But I do have As some have hope. I. Yes, we're, we're both guilty of that. It's hard not to be. Yeah. Even even the most um, optimistic of yes. folks this year. Um, yeah. But anyways, we do have hope for um, the, the upcoming year. And um, so some of our guest artists have played on that theme. And um, this first set does not have, the names don't have anything to do with hope. But the set itself has a key change that feels like a rush of energy at the end. Um, so a hopeful a modulation. Hopeful mo oh, hopeful modulation. Yeah. That's nice. That would be a good tune name actually by itself. Um, and uh, the first two tunes are very common Mario's tunes. The last one kind of. Um, but the first two for sure, and the second one goes out to Bob Armistead. I don't know if he is here in the virtual pub yet, but uh, I know the second one is one of his favorites. So we will get started with these three reels. First one is the Banshee in G. The second one is Lad O'Byrne in G as well. And then the final one is, I actually don't know how to pronounce the last word. I don't know. Boys of Malin or Boys of Malin. I think it's Malin, but maybe somebody who knows more somebody than I knows, can... Put it in the chat. Let us know. Yes, I would like to say it correctly. Uh, okay, so we'll play these not too fast. Obviously, they're reels to get started with, and we haven't really been playing any music at all, so we should probably not go too fast. Yeah, let's keep it at a reasonable speed. Yep, and I'll call the changes to you um, based on how we're all collectively feeling on the internet. I'll, I'll uh, channel the vibes and Excellent. see if we want to do two or three times as we go. Great. All right. <laughs> Okay, it's a patch. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
to end 2020 on a high note and i just wanted to get the high note out of the way good great that was a dumb excellent, joke sorry excellent. that was a dumb joke um okay excellent so on to a, a whole bunch of guests but before we do that um i have to say two things great they both involve animals both of the things i have to say um and the first one is um this is so dumb but i have to i have to show my these socks oh this is not dumb it's not dumb I mean, it's silly, but it's silly, but it's not. Dumb. It's very serious business. Mm -hmm. um, my birthday was recently, and my mom sent um, a couple of excellent gifts in the mail, and I forgot to show one of them. Um, I'm showing this because I know that we have some science nerds in the session, uh, like me, and um, one of my top five favorite animals on planet Earth is the animal that's known as uh, the water bear, also known as a tardigrade. And um, I'm not going to explain exactly what these are just now because if I would. If you know, be, you know. If you know, you know. If you're in the yeah. tardigrade club, you know about these guys. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't know what these are, you should go look them up because they're one of the most fascinating things <laughs> yes. in the world. And there might be some on the moon now. I just read an article oh, yeah. about yeah, this. That's true. Um, anyways, this is a, a, a very large representation of them. They're microscopic usually, but you can see, hopefully, they're very cute. And my mom found some socks that have water bears on them and sent them to me for, for my birthday. They actually are this cute. This is yes. not like an exaggeration. No. They're, we've we've observed them actually in a microscope. Yes. Chris and got me some real tardigrades for my birthday a few years ago. Yeah. Um, they're very cute. Yeah. They actually look like this. Animal. Like if they were this size, you'd want them for a pet, like a hamster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that was the first thing. People who are new are like, what is going on? Um, okay, second thing is, uh, you may have noticed we put a little uh, secret link, which we took down afterwards last night, to a new visitor to our house. Uh, we are fostering a cat. Mm -hmm. um, after many years of wanting to do this, we finally were like, I was going to say a bad word, but I'm not going to. We were like, let's go and get a cat. And so we went to um, the Brooklyn Cat Cafe, which also runs our rescue, and we picked up a cat named, we didn't name it, its name is Milk Toast. Now, the word Milk Toast doesn't have the best implications, right. so we have renamed it. It still sounds the same, but it's spelled milk, like in the fridge, M-I-L-K -K Toast. And as you might know, we have a, um, another pet, which is actually with Milk Toast right now, uh, who's a pigeon, and the pigeon's name is Toast. So now we have two Toast animals. Yep. And here's the excellent thing for tonight. Should we have a drum roll? Yeah, this? we should have because a drum Because this roll. is like very high tech, oh, it's very exciting. Oh, it's extremely high tech, yeah. Um, um, how about this one? Okay. Yes. That's the perfect demo yeah. for what we're going to show you here. Do you want to explain what's happening? Um, Cause... well, we have a cat cam set up yeah. in the bathroom. Um, and this is live. This is for real this life. This is for real. It's yeah. not recorded. Um, because Milk Toast, though he's doing great and he's being really brave, he's not quite ready to like be picked up and appear on the session. And he especially did not like it when we played music earlier. No, he did not. No. Um, so we still wanted to make sure that everyone got a chance to meet Milk Toast. So we have our um, second camera set up in the bathroom. Yes. Which we can show you now. And if he's not there, don't worry. We're going to come back. Oh, oh there he is, is there. Yeah, he's, um, oh, he's sleeping. He's taking a nap. He's taking a nap. And he is black, so it's a little difficult to see. But he's um, in the cat carrier. And you see the um, avocado and uh, the other toast are keeping him company right now. Yes. So we're going to check in with him from time to time. And maybe we'll wake him up so that you can see his beautiful yellow eyes yeah he does have gorgeous eyes yeah okay he's taking it out that's good he's not stressed good. out he started meowing a little bit when he went in yes. the bathroom earlier um okay great so moving along um our first guest of the night this is an abrupt move from the cast yes, to the, the first guest um we're going to start off here with um two extraordinary musicians i mean they are all extraordinary but these guys are um are living together in Florida right now. Yes. Um, and so they have been creating some immense music. Um, it's really resulted yeah. in some spectacular collaborations. Yeah. 
And uh, so Colin Farrell is the fiddle player, Dave Curley is the guitar player, and Colin has been doing this tune a day thing for the whole of 2020. That's one of the good things to come yes. out of 2020. And it's amazing. I don't actually know how Colin even had time to do this set no. for us. I don't um, know either. Because he's been writing tunes every day and yeah. recording them, and they've ballooned into these massive projects. Yeah. I think I just saw today he had like 50 people on screen oh my God. doing a tune. Amazing, so. amazing. Very cool. So he is here with some tunes. Now, just so for the players out there, um, the, the tunes are really fast. So you should absolutely, and they're in weird keys. Yes. So you play along if you can. Otherwise, just enjoy, enjoy this um, joyous start to the, to the New Year's session. Here we go. Hello, hope you all had a lovely Christmas and best wishes for the new year for myself and Dave. We're going to try a, a jig called Shunabok Tube Station and a couple of reels called The Dub Reel and Trip to Herpes. <laughs> Again soon, hopefully. Happy New Year. Woo! 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 Oh my God! Amazing! Yeah. Amazing. They're they're too good for their too own good, good yeah. I think. Um, yeah, amazing. And of course, Colin. Usually, we see him playing the fiddle. And yeah, it's not even his primary instrument. Not even playing fiddle. He's playing whistle. Incredible! Oh. Incredible! Absolutely incredible. 
Um, we have not succeeded in get, getting Dave Curley to sing, sing a song yet, but Someday. we will. We're still working on it. We may need to bribe him with um, something. Maybe tardigrade socks. Yeah, Do you or, think a work? or a cat. Or a cat. Cat. Okay, so speaking of the cat, th this is not the reason the cat is on the show. The cat is on the show because he's awesome, but um, he is up for adoption. Yes, I'm yes. just going to say that, and that's I, I promise that's not the reason why we got him, is to show him on Tins of Life, yeah. but he is up for adoption. Did you say that I, we got him from the Brooklyn Cat Cafe? Yes, which yeah. is a really cool place. Um, yeah. And also, if you um, if you like animals other than cats, um, there's rats. That, that there you are, can, yeah, you can pet them and hold them. You can hold them. It's great. Uh, and they're actually amazing little creatures. Yeah. Um, we have a picture of that, but maybe next week we should yeah. put the picture of you with the rat. There's should like we... a rat holder that goes like here and yeah. it sits right here. It's, it's really nice. Um, should we check out on milk toast? Oh yeah, let's check on milk toast. Let's see what's going on here. Still napping. Okay. In, okay, in classic cat fashion. Yeah. There, it might not be very exciting to watch. We, them. This may all maybe everything <laughs> that we have to report for milk toast is taking a nap over the next two hours. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Whatever milk toast wants to do is totally fine with yeah. us. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep checking on milk 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 toast. <laughs> Milk toast. Mickle toast. <laughs> Mickle toast. Uh, milk toast already has a lot of nicknames. Um, all warbler cats always get yeah. a ton of nicknames. Right. Um, what was the one I just came up with? Um, Toastopotamus. Toastopotamus. Yeah. Toastopotamus. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, I know that we have some folks who are watching from Fairbanks tonight, which Fairbanks, Alaska, which is where I'm from, and um, of course the winter in Fairbanks is uh, delightful. It's very cold and dark all the time. Mm -hmm. And so we featured last week um, on the Christmas Eve session some reindeer from Running Reindeer Ranch. And today we are lucky to feature some dogs from Trailbreaker Kennel, which was started by Susan Butcher and her husband, um, Dave Munson. Uh, Susan Butcher was the second woman to win the Iditarod and uh, an enormous hero of Alaska, generally. Yeah. Unfortunately, she is not no longer with us, but... Um, the the kennel still exists and uh, we actually got to visit it last february mm -hmm. and go on some rides with the dogs and it was absolutely incredible so i asked dave if he would send some footage because guess what just happened at trailbreaker kennel what just happened puppies Woo! puppies just happened. new puppies new puppies so we have some footage here uh, the first clip it's not going to be like last week where we played with it because it's just a, a shorter clip so this first one features the uh the puppies in question so, yes. should we see that first? Yep. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. There. So cute. <laughs> okay, Farmer's Loop. Who's the noisiest? This is Farmer's Loop. He's a little bit cranklish about something this morning. Oh. Farmer's Loop. Are you cranklish? Farmer's loop, don't fall off. God, knock it off, you guys. Come on, Kush, try again. Kush! Their first walk in the snow. What is that white stuff, little guys? What is that white stuff? <laughs> Who's going to be brave? <laughs> wow, oh much. my god, they're so cute. I like the, all of the puppies in the arm. Yeah, <laughs> the that's great. Um, I also like at the end where they just put the puppy down into the snow. Um, that's great. It's a trial by fire, trial by snow, mm -hmm. I think. Okay, so those are the puppies. And then um, uh, Dave sent over this short clip of, um, uh, it's, it's at the dog kennel, and there's a couple uh, ladies sitting in the snow just talking. And I want to show it because um, it really gives you a sense for what Fairbanks is like in the winter. Yeah. It's like being on the moon. You've been there mm -hmm. when it's cold. Twice. Yeah. And if it's not, even when it's not cold, it's still like the moon because it's dark almost all day. The sun kind of just goes like this and yeah. then goes back yeah. down. Um, and when it's really cold, it's just something else. And, and you just, you don't even know, you can't imagine it until you're there, right? Yeah. I, yeah. So here's a shot of some, some ladies just having a little afternoon chat. They have their, their headlamps on uh, in front of the dog kennel. If you've never seen a dog kennel, you'll, you'll see what it looks like here. Yeah. And then 
I ate his food right away, and then was running in circles. I came and laid with him, and we were just hanging out. And nice. He seems like he's doing okay now. Yeah, yeah, he's a little more cozy bedding. He just needed that. <laughs> Chris is messing with people here. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I don't know what time that was taken, but it could just as likely be like 3 p.m. as midnight. Yeah, that's yeah. that is literally what it looks like. It's it's <laughs> yeah. it's intense. Okay, and we have one more video with some more light in it. And this was taken before we all knew what to, what 2020 was going to yeah. do. We did a tour up in Alaska with uh, Broadway folks from our show Come From Away in February, right before everything sh shut down, including with uh, Tony Award nominated, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Jen Kloa from our show and this is a video of her driving the dog sled with me in it and just like skiing you'll, you'll feel the, the trail you know go up underneath yeah, you yeah. move around and you just kind of move with it very much a dance you do with the sled yeah. It's pretty cool. I can't believe she was able to drive it. She it's was cool. very good yeah, at it right good, off right? the bat. Yeah. I was far too. I was in the hut at that point. I was way too cold. It was to very cold. And of course, even if it's not too cold, if it's only like 20 below and the wind starts yeah, going at you when the dogs take off, it's cold. It's yeah. cold. Um, that's why everybody has their big uh, fur rucks yeah. on and stuff. Um, so I saw Kurt, yeah. was, um, Kurt was noticing what I was drinking there, <laughs> playing a little drinking game along with me. I like that. Um, <laughs> Let us know uh, if you guys are having a drink or a food in the chat. We'd love to, to see that. Yes. Yeah. And we are going to do a, a, a cheers together yeah, at the sure. very end, right right at the end. So if you do want to at least save a little bit of what you're drinking yes. um, for, for that. And we have a special drink we're going to have at the end. Yep. Um, two last dog mushing pictures and one we'll get on to some tunes. These were, again, from uh, when we were up in February. And the first one, <laughs> that's Chris and I with Tekla, who is um, Dave's daughter driving the sled yep. and Jen in the background actually and then I just want to show this because people who are not from Alaska might not know what this is this is how the dogs get around in Alaska you put a um, little dog houses on in the back of your truck and they they each have one of those little portholes yep. <laughs> that they live in um, it's when sort you of reminds me for. like of a horse trailer except yeah. a tiny version of it tiny horses yeah. <laughs> yeah anyways okay so thanks to Dave and um, to Tekla for showing us around earlier this year actually twice yes and twice also for sending those the footage of the dogs and um hopefully someday in the future if you ever going to go up to alaska you can go dog mushing with them mm -hmm. it's pretty cool <laughs> uh okay moving on to, to tunes so we have a, a tunes apply debut happening here this is uh john uh williams and is he playing Concertina. Concertina, that's what I thought. In this set. He's playing Concertina in this set, but he is known for being an extraordinary accordion player, of course. So um, I will, I think he introduces himself. He does, so yeah. I will let him introduce himself. Here we go. Hello, my name is John Williams. I'm going to play three jigs for you on the Concertina next to this lovely fire. It's keeping time with me, and there's a little crackle coming off the log. So grab your instruments, join along if you want. The first tune is called The One That Was Lost. And the second one's called The Second Victory, both of which are written by Patty O'Brien of Nina County Tipperary. And the last one is a very common session favorite called The Wandering Minstrel.
Okay, we have to have John back. He's approved yes. for future sessions. I like this move at the end. Yeah. It reminds me of the Tom Dunn oh, yeah. picture. Yeah, yeah. There's a great picture of Tom Dunn, who we should see if we should invite Tom Dunn, actually. Yeah, that would be fun. I haven't thought about that. There's a picture of Tom, Tom Dunn, who's a, um, a great accordion player here in New York, where he's stretching the accordion out like all the way yeah. like this. And he has this mischievous look on his face. It's great. It's great. Very classic. Um, all right, so John uh, has another set later with uh, Katie Grennan. So if you're a John fan, stick around. Um, but for now, I just want to mention something that's happening tomorrow, which is the Tradvent finale. So I would guess that an, quite a few of you who are watching are, have, have already been doing Tradvent, which is this thing we made up, holiday we made <laughs> up, um, where you get one video per day sent to you at 2 p.m., um, from about 30 different musicians. It's been going for most of December. Today was the last day. Um, and tomorrow is the finale concert, which we were intending to be approximately 15 minutes. Well, it was supposed to be a miniature concert. It was supposed to be just just short. Just a check-in. Yeah. Well, of course, in typical Tunes Blythe fashion, it got big. It's not as big as... It's not too bad. No. It's, there's like 10 people on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe 45 minutes? Hour? Yeah, something like I don't that. know. But anyways, it's tomorrow at 6 p.m. And because it grew so much and there's so much good music on it, we were trying to think about, like, how can we invite more people to, to come in? Because right now it's just for Tradvent um, subscribers. So what we came up with was um, if, if for anybody who makes any contribution to any of the Tune Supply funds, including the one that runs this, which some of you do already, uh, and thank you, um, you will get the link to the... Um, to the concert tomorrow at 6 p.m. It in will fact, come. It should yeah. come automatically in your 
donation receipts. Yeah. So if you have a habit of just deleting those, you might want to take a look. <laughs> yeah. We'll send out an email to you with it to yes. everyone who donates. Yes. Um, so you can donate to, there's four funds that run Tune Supply. And as you all know, Tune Supply is entirely run through community comp- contributions besides our store. Mm-hmm. So you can choose whichever fund you want. Um, there's the session fund, which is what you guys usually contribu- contribute to. The Tune Supply fund, which which is the logistical fund that runs this whole operation. There's a virtual learning fund and the artist fund, which is how we fund our big concerts that we do. So um, just keep that in mind. If you do want another blast of, of tunes tomorrow, it will be a concert. You, I guess you could play along, but it's actually, sure. there's, there's quite a few songs. There's a lot of songs, there, like four or five songs yeah. out of 10. Yeah. So. And we weren't going to, yeah, well, that'll be good. That's I think good. songs yeah. are good for the new year. And um, we were not going to live host this. We were just going to play it, but we're going to live host it we tomorrow yes. at 6 p.m. So there you go. Um, contribute if you want to, and, and you'll get the link to the concert tomorrow at 6 p.m. Oh, we, I guess we had the poster. Oh, yeah. The poster's kind of beautiful, so we could send it. Can show that again. There you go. Check okay, that. and then here's the lineup. We're just going to stick it right on top oh, of yeah, us here. on the screen because it's pretty incredible. <laughs> we should have put that up while I was blabbering away a moment ago. Oh. Okay, so there's lots of, lots of amazing folks there, including Mick Maloney is going to yep. contribute a, a song. So, excellent. Uh, onwards. Okay, so this next segment is long. We put two sets together there's so, so much music here we have to yeah um, line sets up back to back otherwise we'll be here all night yes because we know what happens when we come back to me I somebody talk. talks a lot somebody yeah. talks a lot so the first set is with um john redman and matt stapleton Woo-hoo. mary o's um sweethearts and oh more mary o, mary o sweethearts for the second set brenda castles and matt stapleton number two yeah it's two different matt Stapletons. it is yeah um so and these will be nice uh um reasonably sp- reasonably paced tunes if you want to play along okay all right here we go hi everyone happy new year to everyone um my name is john redmond and uh, with me tonight is matt stapleton matt happy new year buddy thank you john i appreciate that same to you my friend thank you and uh we have a theme for tonight and uh, the theme is is hope and um yeah it's a uh, immediately I just you know I just hope uh, t- 2021 is um, obviously a better year uh, a less strange year than 2020 was uh, but yeah when I think of hope I, I think a lot of the uh, all the people who are working in the front line and so when the vaccine comes out I hope that they are you know, well taken care of quickly, and um, that uh, those people can go to work with uh, less worry on their minds, uh, or nurses, or doctors, or cleaning staff in the hospitals, uh, school teachers, cleaning staff in the schools, you know, fire department, EMS workers, or police department, subway workers, anybody who is. Uh, working on the front line. Um, I hope that uh, 2021 is a, an easier year. Um, my own personal hope is just that whatever life throws at me that I can accept with uh, some grace and, um, and uh, humility and, and uh, on a musical note, obviously, it would be wonderful to be able to sit down and just play tunes with people and uh, be back at Mario's again. And um, uh, But until then, um, here we are. And Matt, any thoughts? Yeah, well, 21. Now that the millennia is old enough to drink officially, um, it'd be nice to raise a glass with it, make friends, and put some stuff behind us, right? All right. So we play some tunes, and uh, yeah, one of the uh, my favorite Mario sets is a set of jigs called. Uh, well, the set of jigs is not called anything, but the tunes in it are out in the ocean, Jimmy Ward's and Rolling Wave. So uh, G G and D and uh, twice each match. <laughs> One, two, three, and...
Hello everybody, I think we'll all be glad to leave this year behind, uh, it has been a journey and uh, myself and Matt were talking about what to play for this and we decided uh, a, a few tunes to reflect that journey might be a good option. Uh, the first one is a tune called The Hard Road to Travel and it has been a difficult journey uh, for many of us. So uh, that's just a version of a tune, a more common tune called uh, The Tap Room. And it's a, the Mike Rafferty version of The Tap Room, The Hard Road to Travel. Hopefully the road gets easier. The second tune, uh, is there any more hopeful symbol than the rainbow? Uh, the second tune is The Rainbow's End, which is a, a tune by Vincent Broderick. Um, and then finishing with uh, one of the happiest sounding tunes that I know, uh, a tune of Josephine Keegan's uh, and I don't think you could get happier sounding. So enjoy these tunes.
Excellent. Great. Awesome sets, everyone. Well yes. Done. Um, I know all this, the tunes in that second set, Brenda's set, yeah. but I haven't played them in forever, and they're Great all tunes. excellent. Especially that last tune, the yes. D major one. Yes. Fantastic. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, and I like the rainbows and the title. People are also loving on Matt Stapleton's chords, which well, I of course. agree. Fantastic. Of course. Well played, he Matt. Always, he always has yes. tasty chords. Um, okay, so <laughs> we are going to do a little milk toast check in. If okay, you're new, we have a here. foster cat who is in the bathroom, and we have a, a cat cam set up. Let's see. Oh, oh, he's a little woken up. You can almost see his eyes. Do you want to go tap on the door? I feel like people need to see his gorgeous eyes. Yeah. He's just a little, he's sleepy, I think. Okay, so Chris is just going to knock on his door real quick, see if we can, oh, oh, yep, oh my gosh, perfect, perfect, we saw them, oh, he came up, <laughs> okay, <laughs> excellent, we saw the eyes before he decided, he, he wants to come out, <laughs> so there you go, you saw Milk Toast's um, amazing eyes, I love cats that are all black except for like piercing yes. eyes, Yeah. It's, it's so cool, okay, so, so back to the tunes. Um, oh, no, actually, it's time for the poem. Uh, so um, everybody knows what happens now. I always say what's going to happen, and everybody knows. Mimi does a poem for us. So um, we haven't seen it yet, and uh, let's go Let's go see what's happening. Okay. Mario's right, friends, a very, very bad poem um, to wish you a happy new year. It's the end of December, 2020's end nears. We'll bid it farewell with good riddance, not cheers. But in with the crud, there were moments of light when friendship and art could triumph with might. How lucky we are to have one another. We are like family, tune sisters, tune brothers. 21 will be better with our new mascot, Milk Toast. We'll soon be together. And you guys are just the best. I love you guys. Uh, Amos and his cousin Carson and I want to wish you a happy 2021. Please chip into the box if you can. <laughs> Stay safe. Eat your kibble. Bye. <laughs> that was great. Okay, good. We were talking about making New Year's Eve hats uh, just before the session. Yeah. Amos and Carson beat us to it, I guess. Yes, <laughs> that, that was excellent. I think he was using his claw to pull the, yeah, <laughs> pull yeah. the thing down. Yeah, we, did, we were not on our game Kurt? with getting... Oh, sorry. I forgot there's a drinking game going on tonight. Um, <clears throat> I'm just drinking water with Peter Kaysen, actually, for now. Oh, uh, he has some, some vintage, uh, current vintage tap water. Nice. And I'm having unknown vintage Schweppes um, until the end. And then we are going to mm. have a little toast at the end. Oh, the original. That's a beautiful expression. It is. Yes. The <laughs> <laughs> expression. Um, Chris used to work at a wine um, a winery. Did, a long time ago. So he knows yeah. he knows his wines. I, no, no, actually. <laughs> Um, okay, so anyway, anyways, if you got a few bucks, throw them into the box. <laughs> I forgot what we were um, doing. <laughs> here's the box. Here's the box. And a lovely Guinness and Mimi and Kevin Crawford in the background. People sitting together. That's yes. amazing. Um, yes. So, uh, and just to remind you, if you joined after I said this, um, anybody who is donating or contributing to any of the four Tunes Play Fonts tonight, um, when you contribute, get, you'll get the link to the Tradvent Finale Concert tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Alaska time, um, and the, uh, the rest of the country in the middle is between those hours. Yep. That's how I think of things. And you don't have to watch it at 6. You can watch it whenever. It's going to stay up That's like true. a normal video. That's true. It's the first thing that we're doing, actually, that is not entirely open to the public, which we are trying to keep everything or the vast majority of things open to the public, but this was a special thing for our Tradvent calendar. So, yeah. um, But we do want as many people to see it as possible because it's awesome. I put up Milk Toast Cam just to see oh, great. if anything is, is <laughs> happening here. But. And not much is happening, much. as, as yeah. usual tonight. Um, uh, for Tradvent subscribers, there is one extra person who was not on the calendar who we added. Um, and that's Jerry O'Byrne, and he's going to yes. sing um, a really spectacular version of um, All Dying Syme, which I, which I had never heard before, this particular version of it. Mm -hmm. So that should, that should be cool. Um, okay, uh, one thing arrived at our house before we started the session. Oh, yes. Uh, I got a, a message from Mary at about 7.35 saying that she had just dropped something off at the doorman. And so I went down to get it. It was in a nice bag with a nice sticker. It says, to enjoy Mario's style, oven 325 for three minutes. So we haven't actually opened it yet. Let's see what we have here. 
Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it out with my fingers so that you can see it. That's, That's a soda bread loaf. It's a soda bread loaf or a giant scone. <laughs> Could be a giant scone. <laughs> wow. Okay, soda bread loaf. And we have some homemade jam and some Kerrygold butter. Uh, so Mary did tell me a while back that she was going, she was working on this product, which was one big soda, soda bread loaf um, to put on her uh, scone store. So this must be the trial that run. That must be it, yeah. We must be the, the guinea pigs, actually. For, for yes. It, for it. Okay. And I can report without even tasting it that it's It's amazing. going to be good. We know. <laughs> My sister Rachel got some scones in the mail the other day and she texted and said, um, does Mary have anywhere to review these scones online? Because they're incredible. They are. Um, and she, she doesn't. So we should probably yes, set that up. We need up. to fix that. Yeah. Um, thank you, Mary, for the scone loaf. And, um, looking forward to that. Yes, we are looking forward to that. Uh, okay. More tunes. Oh, so this is, this is another tune that is very fast. And also, it includes those high notes I was talking about, very high notes, um, and it's a special treat. We have Nula Kennedy, who we haven't seen in a while, and uh, Jerry O'Connor um, doing. I don't even what this. I don't know what this is. It's a. It's called the American polka. It's the fanciest thing. It's though. very fancy. It's the fanciest thing I've heard in some time. So good time to get another beer and. Yes, enjoy, enjoy this fanciness. Here we go. Hi everyone, Happy New Year from myself and Jerry here in Dundalk, County Louth in and Ireland. And we're going to play some appropriate polkas called the American Polka. Even was incredible. that? That yeah, was incredible. <laughs> so good. Oh my God, so good. Nula has a lot of tunes that um, 
are that I've never heard anywhere else. Secret tunes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of them that <clears throat> I thought that maybe we should play tonight, but we hadn't we haven't rehearsed it. it was um, the Waltz of Happiness, which Nula taught me a number of years ago when she was actually living in New York for a year or two. Yeah. Um, and I've never heard anybody else play it. Uh, it's just really cool. Maybe we'll do it next time. Yeah, sounds good. For 2021. Um, wow, that was that was wild. Uh, okay, and on the topic of Jerry O'Connor, we've been mentioning that um, his book. We have his book. Um, they are now all sold out. Here's what it looks like. So I hope those of you who ordered it have gotten it in the mail. We just sent the last just one out one today. today. Yeah. That was the last one. Yeah. And we're going to try to get some more from Jerry. And also he's got a cool presentation about this project, which is um, just a, an incredible transcription project. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you'll have to let us know if you got a book, what you, what you think of it. Maybe we should play some tunes. You should let us know what your favorite tune from the book yes. is. And those could, of you who got the books. Then we can play it. We can play in session. session. Yeah. And there's a lot of great named tunes in here, as yeah. we discussed yeah, on yeah. Halloween. Um, okay, so we have a couple community pictures. Not too many, actually, Not too many. because the topic was hope tonight. I don't think any came in. Let me just check really oh, quick. Oh, yeah, I didn't check I, either. I don't think we got... It's kind of a hard no? hard topic to take a yep. picture of. Um, it's very open-ended, but we have a few, and, a, and Angela Botzer did send us a picture so we can report that she is still on her winning yes. streak of um, submitting a picture for every session so far. Um, Here's Angela Botzer's submission. Oh, wow. Is that a... Baby deer? I think it's a baby deer. Oh my goodness. Her caption on this was, hope for a peaceful winter. Very nice. Very nice. I love where she lives. Okay, Joseph sent this in. Let's see. I'm not sure what this is. He says, um, hope for renewal and growth in 2021. And this is from Brazos. Uh, Brazos Bend, Texas. Yeah. National cool. Park, I believe. Um, oh, okay. We forgot to show this one. Yes. Somehow we missed it on the Christmas Eve session. This is from Peter Kaysen and Susan Walsh. Yes. Right? I think maybe because we got wrapped up in showing the pictures of their pet dinosaur, watching right. our yeah. pet dinosaur. Yeah. Um, but yes, this beautiful picture. We wanted to make sure, sh sure we showed it. And uh, one more from Susan. Very nice. Very hopeful. That is very hopeful. Spring is coming. Okay, this is from Bob Beamers. Okay, you have to explain this. Yes, now this is not on the topic of hope. Um, this is a long-running thing between Bob yeah. Beamers and and us. Bob won some geodes during one of our contests, some Alaskan geodes this summer, and it took me forever to send them to him. Yep. And then Bob was moving, so it took him a while to cut them open, and he used this like fancy diamond saw to cut them open. I think it might have been in Dremel, but oh, Dremel, yeah, yeah. Well, I've never done this. So. Yeah. Um, okay, and so this is the second one. He had to go get a, like a more powerful yeah. tool or blade or something because, it, as you can see, it, it did not have the opening in the middle. Right. But it's still gorgeous. So there you go. That's the end of the Geode saga. Mm -hmm. saga. Okay, and then I put two pictures in here since we didn't have too many pictures. Um, few. This is on the topic of what you do in Alaska when you're bored during Christmas break. Build um, igloos. You build igloos. Um, my dad and I built this igloo. Um, and then we slept in it for the night, and that's me in my sleeping bag and all of my clothes that I brought up. And we did actually manage to make it through the night sleeping in the igloo. Because the thing is, you may know this if, you're, if you've done any winter survival courses, if you get inside of the snow, it actually insulates. Yeah, it's, it warms up, right? Yes. It, I mean, I just, warm up is like, that would be a But like, it keeps you alive. Yes. Yeah. It gets warmer inside of the, um, the snow, and sure. then your breathing like creates a little bit of ice uh, uh, wallpaper so yeah. to speak yeah. um it uh, i wouldn't recommend doing it all the time it, i wouldn't say it was um pleasant necessarily but it was fun and um oh my dad's cat came out and and um stayed oh, in the igloo with but us the cat for a while did not too. like that he was okay for a little bit and yeah. then he was like now i'm going back into the Let's house but anyways okay so those are the pictures for tonight thanks for everybody for sending them in everybody um and now we have another double set double sets yeah first one is shay uh and eugene who are going to be leaders soon, I think, Great. In, in, in January. And then we have um, John Williams, who was here earlier. I forgot to say, John is one of the founding members of Solace. Oh. So um, John and Katie Grennan, who's a Tunes Play artist, uh, they're going to do a little duet together after that. All right, here we go, a couple sets. Hello, all you Tunes Flyers out there in internet land. It's Eugene Bender and Shay Coyle back again for another evening. Uh, always a pleasure to share a few tunes with you guys, and uh, I'll turn it over to Shay Coyle. Yeah, so we're, we were told that the uh, theme for tonight's session is one of hope. So we're going to play two jigs that um, have hopeful and optimistic titles. 
first one is contentment is wealth, which all I've been told. And the second one is out on the ocean, which, uh, you know, hoping for vacations and whatnot for next year. We'll see. And in the theme of uh, hoping for vacations, I wore my tropical Christmas themed Hawaiian shirt, which has palm fronds and Christmas ornaments and jingle bells. So here's to uh, better times ahead filled with tropical visions. Gene's really into the Elvis Presley Christmas carols right now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, here, Katie and myself. We're going to play Crowley's 1 and 2, The Limestone Rock, and finally we'll finish it up with Connemara Stockings. So I hope you all have a happy new year and a bright and peaceful one. Take care now.
Um, holiday sweater yes very on point there's actually a really good sweater game Nula had an excellent sweater game going yes she on. did she's always very fashionable yes indeed yes um, and I like your shirt today oh, actually thank it's you. very yeah. it's very nice this is my one nice shirt <laughs> well we don't really need nice shirts yeah. in the pandemic anymore so, I didn't um, need them before the pandemic and I really don't need them now <laughs> oh 2020 almost done how many more hours do we have here mm. three less than three hours less at least three. where yeah. we are um, okay, excellent job, folks. Um, I we thought of, well, we I don't know. We thought of four things that need to um, be announced here. Uh, one is that Shay um, got engaged. Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations, Shay. I hope this is public knowledge. I think it is because it was on Facebook. Yeah, it was all over Facebook. It was all over. It's Facebook. It's already been announced in the chat, actually. Probably in all the magazines yeah. at the supermarket. Yeah, I saw it in like. At the people ring and, and everything, yeah. yeah. People magazine for yeah. Irish musicians, yeah. yeah. So, Shay, um, what is it? it's already in the Irish Echo, it's already in the Irish Echo. Um, was that on Christmas? I think so, yeah. I think it was a holiday engagement. So, congratulations to Shay. I don't know his wife to be actually, but we should figure out her name. Yes, I forgot. Maureen, um, Maura, Ma Maura, Some, I don't know. Somebody might know. I don't know if Shay's here. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing is that it was Mimi's birthday yesterday. Woo and Christine uh, Zaleskis as well. And I just remembered, because I forgot, that it was Alan's birthday on the it was 28th. was Alan's birthday a couple days ago. And I ago. forgot to send yeah. him a message. Alan Murray. It, as we mentioned last week, it's it's Trad Musician birthday time. Um, Didn't we play Happy Birthday for like all the upcoming Trad birthdays? We did, which is why I don't feel that we need to okay. do it again. Yeah. But we did do it last week f for, for all the birthdays. Yes. yes. Um, okay, and what else do I have here? Mimi, Shay. Um, oh, Yes, we did have a duplicate tune happen. Um, some people noticed there. Uh, Peter noticed. Peter Kaysen. Um, it happens at <laughs> sessions. And whenever we ask people to play for the session, we always say, play whatever you want. So, you know, sometimes they're double tuned. There is not a better tune for doubling than Out in yes, the Ocean, though. Yes, it's a great tune. Yeah. And you can hear two different versions now. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And the last thing is we forgot a very important picture during community oh, yes. uh, pictures. Um, because it came in yesterday and, uh, and we forgot to get it in the file, from Lynn Goldfarb. Uh, there's actually two of them, and this is uh, her dog. Um, let me get the email so I get this right. Um, this is her English Cocker Spaniel, I believe, Darla. She is currently furloughed, F-U-R, furloughed, furloughed uh, cute, yeah. um, therapy dog. And um, so this is last year, she was cheering up Trinity College students during the stress of final exam week. And here she is, um, uh, let's see. Um, okay, this is, this is being an, a reading education assistance dog. Um, she's not- a talented Yes, um, she's 9.75 years old and she um, was also a champion show dog and she has a special AKC name. Um, cobblestones heart to heart oh um so sorry lynn that we forgot those and of course i always like to show all of the animal pictures that i yes. can on session so um beautiful beautiful dog hopefully she is not furloughed too much longer yes um i feel like everybody could use a therapy animal right now we've been enjoying our therapy animal should we check in on our yeah therapy maybe animal? we should just have a little quick milk toast check i think milk toast is Oh, uh, a, a he, new position. He has changed positions. Yeah, more Still of a sleeping. lounge. Yeah. It kind of looks like he's having a conversation with Avocado. Yeah. Hopefully they're making friends there. Okay. I think he might be asleep. <laughs> in in cat fashion, he's sleeping yeah. quite a bit. He's not a kitten. He's um, he's six years old. So he's yes, an adult, he's adult cat. cat. Yeah. He's uh, not being too crazy around the house just yeah. yet. Um, okay. Oh, you know what's next? Yes, I do know what's next. Okay. So... Um, this is the fifth time that we have done a Mario's on screen, which is where we ask whoever 
out there in internet session land wants to um, send us a video of them playing a set of tunes and we match all the tu- all the videos up. Oh, I'm not, I don't do it. Chris does it. He's very good at it. Um, so this is the fifth one. And we have a set of slip jigs. They're mm-hmm. all common so you can play along. And um, thank you to everybody who um, sent a video. I know it's extremely nerve wracking to make videos of yourself. Yes. I get scared of it every single time. Yeah. Um, and it takes forever too. It takes forever, and you think I'm just going to do this in one one yeah. take, and then like 20 takes later, you're angry and hungry, and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's hard. So thanks to everybody who did it, and um, here is the result all right. of all of your work. Oh, should we say what the oh. tunes are so people can play along? Yes. You remember what they are? No. Oh, uh, um, Redican's mother. Redican's mother. Um, Fig for a kiss. Yes. And fox hunters. Yes, the slip jigs. Three slip jigs. Okay, right, have enjoy. fun.
woos. So many uh, woos. That was crazy. 19 woos. Oh my goodness. Um, well done, everyone. Yes. Well played. Uh, there were a couple, couple amazing uh, things to note here yeah. in this move. Alicia was playing mandolin. Yes. Um, she's normally a fiddle player, I believe. Yeah. Um, mandolin still has a price tag on it. So you, know, <laughs> right. you know it's brand new. You know she's uh, just starting out. And she sounded great. She sounded great, yep. And the other thing, I don't know if you would have had to be really paying attention, but um, go back and watch again. Check out Bob's three concertinas that he plays. The middle one is like this, on the second tune is this massive bass concertina. And then he has a little, I guess, I don't know, a piccolo concertina or a tiny little miniature concertina on the last tune. Yeah. Really fun. Um, he sent us um, his track that had three, three different concertinas, and he called it the Neapolitan. Yes, the Neapolitan <laughs> concertina track. <laughs> So yeah, after this is done, you got to go back and check it out. Yeah. I'm Bob. I think I, I'm hoping that Bob sent those because he knows that I'm fascinated by his concertina collection, which includes lots of different sizes yes. of concertinas. Yeah. Oh yeah, he says that, that one's called Jumbo. Jumbo, the right. concertina. I, I think it, all of his concertinas were featured. The picture of them on a pre, some yes, he session sent a way picture. back at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Um, so cool. If you have any concertina-related inquiries, Bob is the one Bob knows. to talk to. Um, Okay, let's see. There's something. Oh, Brenda's here. Brenda's Brenda here from Ireland. And also in from 2021. From 2021, she is in the new year. And yeah. um, I just asked her in the comments how it is and whether whether it's any better. I don't think she's replied yet, so that's maybe not a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Brenda, if you're still awake over there, it must be very late. Like oh, she did. She oh. said it's amazing over here oh. in 2021. Oh, Come great. on in. The water's lovely. Yeah. I'm so okay, glad to good. hear that. Good. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, good, good to good to hear from you, Brenda, through through uh, time and the internet waves, yeah. the wonders of technology. So, the, is Brenda coming to us through the um, cables that run under the Atlantic? She must be. That's crazy. Yeah. It's not. It's not satellite. I don't think so. Those those cables that run under the oceans are fascinating. If you ever need a um, Wikipedia diversion. Yes. Absolutely incredible. If I was a shark, though, I would go and eat them, just for fun. I think they may have thought of that when oh. they designed them. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> um, shark defense. Yeah. Okay, so we have one more. No, oh, no, two more sets. Okay, yeah. so um, we're not going to be too late, actually, because no. there's only three more things. So that's great. But um, do stick around. We'll go a little past where we usually go. And yes. get your drink ready for the toast um we'll have a toast shortly yeah. shortly two sets and then we'll do a toast so we have another set from um shay and shay just said that his um soon-to-be wife is with him playing and her name is maura nolan, Maura nolan yes. and um this is a very cool connection she's john nolan's daughter um john is a, another irish musician here in new york and um maura if john wants to come on or if you want to come on the session let us know everybody's welcome um okay so let's have one more set from shay and eugene sounds good all right, folks, we're going to continue on now with a single set of reels. One. One set of reels. Uh, that's more of an inside joke because in our bloopers, we had a whole tangent, but you don't care about that. Um, again, keeping with the hopeful theme of this uh, session, we are going to play a set of reels, the first of which is the Chicago, and the second is the Bird in the Bush. So now, uh, you know, again, just kind of being hopeful about the travel uh, one of our favorite uh, cities and places to go to is uh, the good old city of Chicago so uh, big old hello to Andrew Sherb and all our all of our uh, Chicago friends out that way and anyone who may be from Chicago this is for you and a very important disclaimer we are going to play it with the F sharp in the second part oh. so if he didn't tell you that you wouldn't have been prepared Gene's not even prepared. No, I'm just drinking. <laughs> yes. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Ready. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
very dangerous. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> Oh, so good. I love when Shay and Eugene are on. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll try to get them onto the onto the leader spot. In the new soon. year. In the new year. Uh, okay, so um, we have one more set from John and Matt um, in just a second. But uh, for those of you who were, were not on the, or are not on the Tune Supply newsletter email list, um, we just sent out our year-end email a few days ago and I'll put the link to it in the comments so if you want to read it you can I know some people including me don't like to be on a ton of email lists I um, usually just delete emails I know yeah so I totally understand people who so, don't want to be on mailing lists yeah. um, but I'll put it in there in case you want to read it so the cool the cool thing to me was I did I love data and stats yeah so I did just I pulled out a few numbers from tune supplies first nine months March what was the day we started 14th 14th to now and so I'm just going to tell you a few of them because it was all made possible by all of you yes. out there um, because this whole operation besides the store is um, run entirely through contributions, which is amazing. Yes. So here are a few numbers just really quickly. The total dollars paid out to artists um, for everything that we do, which is, I won't name everything. There's a million things that Tinsplay does, does, but the total amount is uh, will be over 85000 by uh, the end of tonight. Yes. Um, number of artists paid through Tune Supply jobs over 250, because about 70 of them, it's over 70 now, but are, about 70 are on the official roster. But we also work with a ton of other people who are not like on the website. So over 250, incredible. Um, number of performances and lessons ordered through the store. So that doesn't count like T-shirts and stickers and yeah. things like that. So this is no, like no, you guys love all that stuff. Yes, and we do too. But the actual thing that we love to sell is the performances, the gift performances, and the lessons and things like that, because that money get, goes straight over to the artists. So um, three hundred twenty-five of those and counting. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. What is that per week? I don't know. Quite a few. Yeah. Um, number of sessions. You know this. Fifty-four. This is the fifty-fourth one. Uh, dollars paid to artists through this session, uh, through all 54 sessions, um, we over 22,000 by the end of tonight. Um, the session with the most views, you know what it is. I do. This is so weird. We don't know why this is, but CTAR's number one. That's Common Tunes at Reasonable Speeds. Yeah. The first one in that series. Which was in August? September. Sept August or September, I don't know. It was when we were up in Alaska. We don't know how this happened. 20,734 views. That must have been you. People really I like that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, number of concerts, five. You know that. Number of hours of tunes you guys have watched on YouTube in total, 40, 41,700 hours. That's a lot of hours of tunes. Does anyone, like, have a job or anything <laughs> anymore? I don't know. Well, everybody works from home, so they can have right, it on yeah, while okay, they're actually yeah. at their job. Or while you're at school, uh, yeah, Lindsay yeah, Keaton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then the last one is, this is just a funny one. Number of t-shirts and sweatshirts purchased. 321. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you to everyone for, for being a part of this project. Um, I've said it before. We didn't think it was going to be going this long, but we will keep it going. And we have lots of new, new stuff planned in 2021. Um, as long as we need to keep going, we'll keep going. And maybe longer. We'll have to see. It's all day by day. It is. Um, I'll put the link to the newsletter in the, in the chat in case you want to check, check out the rest of it. Um, and lastly, one more set of tunes from John and Matt. And this does start with um, the classic New Year's uh, song. Well, they're going to play it as a tune. But old, old Lang Syne. Yep. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, we're going to continue with a traditional New Year's Eve piece of music. Uh, it's called Old Lang Syne. And then we are going to uh, go into two reels. One is called Over the Moor to Maggie, and the other one is called The Trip to Doro. So, Matt, um, you're in the keys of G and G and D. So, Happy New Year, everybody. And uh, Happy New Year, Matt, again. Thanks, John. You too. One, two, three, 
I guess after three, Matt. One, two, three. <laughs>
excellent. Some classics there. Some Marius classics. Um, that last one, uh, I believe, is also a favorite of Bob Armistead. You know, I should probably check with Bob because I, there's tunes that I think are his favorites, and I keep mentioning them, and I'm maybe he has new Could favorites. Be wrong. It's been like nine months since I saw That's Bob. That's true. So. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he has new ones. You'll have to let me know. Um, so good to have John and Matt. Always great. Guys. Yes, yeah, they you. are favorites here um, on the virtual session and the real life session. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so it has come time to do the toast. The toast. And we have a special drink we're going to have um, for the toast. And I, I'll just tell you quickly the story. There was a, I, I know that I shouldn't be this easily influenced to buy something, but um, there was a, um, I am. You are. <laughs> there was yes. an article in the New York Times about the drink chartreuse, the, the liqueur. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's made in France by some uh, monks who have been making it for a long time, a couple yeah. hundred years. And at any given time throughout history, only like two or three of the monks know the full recipe. To protect it so it doesn't yeah. get out. Yeah. So some of them knew, know various parts of it, but there's only two. Or, I think there's three right now that know. It was a little unclear whether it was two or three. Yeah. Which it seems like somebody should know this information, right? If it's three, <laughs> and, but people think it's two, that means there's a monk out there who has gone rogue. Well, you know, I think the third one is in the U.S. Yes. So we could probably go and yeah. get the information. Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so um, in the article, I, I've always liked chartreuse. And in fact, I remember when I was a kid learning the word chartreuse in, in, in reference to the color um, and thinking it was the weirdest and coolest name of a color because my favorite color is green. Yes. So I read this article and I learned that there's the normal chartreuse and then there's a fancy chartreuse. And then there's an even fancier one that you can only get in France because it's considered a medicine because the alcohol content is so high right. and it's sold in drugstores. Right. Is, this is what I, I learned. Hope maybe somebody can correct me. Um, anyways, I thought to myself, I have to have that, that fancy have one to. for my birthday because it's yes. been a crappy year and there's crappy stuff going on. And you know what? I'm just going to go get some of this. And the thing that made me do it was because it said in the article, there's 140 herbs involved. Yes. And um, I'm on a mission to eat as many species of things as I can right now. And it also said that it's known as the elixir of life. And I thought that is what we need right what now. What better to uh, ring in the new year? Ring in the new year with than the elixir of life. Okay, so that's the long story about why we got this very fancy, ridiculous bottle. And the thing is that it's very sweet, so you can't drink yeah. very much of it at a time. It came in this amazing wood box, and um, here's what it looks like. Okay, and then we've already pre-poured it because it's supposed to be really cold, so we have been icing it in these little um, antique glasses that we have. So mm-hmm. it has this amazing color, like yeah. like char- regular chartreuse. This is the green version. There's a yellow version, too. Okay, I hope all that talking gave you time out there to, <laughs> to pour your Prosecco pour or your, drink. your green chartreuse or whatever. I'm not actually good at making toast, I just realized. No. Are you? No. What are we going to do? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody help. Oh no. Mimi help us. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna do the traditional um Irish toast, which is slancha, of course. And I guess we'll just leave it simple and toast to hopefully a better twenty twenty one coming up and being able to play tunes with each other in person at some point during twenty twenty one. Okay, here's to that. Slancha. Slancha. Hmm. I can taste all 140 herbs. I'm only getting around 120, but you got to give it time to. Your tasters to are bloom. broken. <laughs> okay. I need to give it time to bloom. <laughs> I'm back to the wine. Yeah. The wine words. Um, I love the taste of this. It's, I don't want to drink a ton of it, and I don't want to drink it very often. But when I do, it just mm. oh, I yeah. feel it kind it's of going nice, down my. Nice for a treat. It does feel like an elixir of life, and I like that it's so old. Not the, that. Oh, I don't know how old that is. The but recipe though is. Ancient, the recipe right? is ancient, and yeah. I love ancient things. Um, okay, I gotta have one more. Okay, we wish that you could taste this out there. It's really good. Actually, there's so much in the bottle. That was the only size bottle. So once we can all get together, you can come over if you're yes, in New York and help us drink us. this because it's going to take a long time to drink that bottle. Because it's, it's um, we only need a little bit of it. Okay, we're going to do one more set of t- tunes. Um, for next week... I, I've been so discombobulated that I I hadn't even planned the session for next week. But I, we just got word that it's going to be Pat Mangan leading, leading the session. Yes. And with, we don't know who. With right? we don't know who, somebody great. And we also have um, two musicians from Argentina, friends of Santiago's, um, Sergio and Johanna. I hope I'm saying it right. Yes, who's his wife. Yep. 
uh, Rybnikov Gunnarsson. Mm -hmm. Are they and on next week or the week after? Next week. Oh, they just confirmed. Cool. Yeah. Great. And we also, I, I, we know that there's some auto harp players who have been watching yeah. that session. We have an auto harp duet next week, which is amazing. But here's the really amazing part. The tune that we're going to duet on, it's going to be me and the auto harp player. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Dave. Right? Dave, yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to do the Star Wars jig. <laughs> Just to make things exciting. So um, perhaps you remember when we, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but we did this one with auto harp next week. So practice that up to bring us into the future. Yes. Um, okay. That's all. That's everything. So let's go ahead and play our last tune set. We're going to start with a, um, a tune called Crested Hens. I know a, a lot of my students know it, but it's not super common. It's a waltz in E minor. And then we'll go into the Orphan, uh, which is a jig in E minor, followed by the Roaring Barmaid in G, and ending off with Father Kelly's in G. So my idea in putting this set together was it starts out kind of sad, and it gets happier as it goes on. Yes. <laughs> that was the idea. Um, and we're hoping that that's the, um, the trajectory for the world, hopefully. Yes. Okay. Anything else? I just said a lot of words. No. Oh, did you want to check on milk toast before oh, we go? Oh, should we have a little uh, milk toast chicken? Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's see. What? <laughs> He's moved to the really, back of the. <laughs> really fast asleep here. Okay. Sorry, we didn't have more interesting cat content for you guys. Um, That's right. Yeah. He's still getting used to the yes. house, I think. Okay, here we go. Last set of tunes. <laughs> I just had uh, I just introduced Chris to this tune right before, and he's been a good sport to, to play it with me here. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, one, two, three. <laughs>
tunes for 2021 we will have more sorry 2020 <laughs> Skip, I hope not. skipped uh, skipped a year for 2020 we all have lots more coming up in 2021 do you want to attempt to do the thanks i can try okay uh let's see shay eugene john matt other john and katie and brenda and colin and dave curly and did you say nula nula and jerry yes Thank you. And uh, Milk Toast, thank you for being on the broadcast. Um, And um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. Uh, We'll see a lot of you tomorrow at 6 p.m. for the Tadvent finale. Don't forget, if you donated, if you contributed to any of the Teen Supply funds tonight or before tomorrow, I think we'll cut it off around noon. Yeah, we're going to send an email around noon, so give us some time to do that. Check your receipt for the link, or we'll send it out as well for that um, Tadvent finale concert. Yep. Uh, Okay. I haven't read any of the comments because I was playing, but um, uh, we'll read them in just a second. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us for these 54 sessions. We will look forward to seeing you in the new year next year with um, Pat Mangan next yes. Thursday. Thank you for all your support over the last nine months. It's yes. It's been fantastic. It's kept us going, and um, we hope it's helped you in some way as well. So okay. here's to a better better us. next year. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night.